Till the beginning of 19th century, it was thought that there was no other way. Then something was discovered by chance. And this outstanding discovery was made by Hans Christian Oyster in 1820. Oyster was a professor of science at the Copenhagen University. He used to arrange science demonstration in his home for his friends and students. Once he planned to demonstrate the heating of a wire by an electric current. On the same day, he also planned to demonstrate some properties of magnets. So a compass needle was lying close by. While performing his electric demonstration, Oyster noted to his surprise that every time the electric current was switched on, the compass needle deflected. This astonishing result indicated that there was some link between electricity and magnetism and it was first established by Oyster. We can perform an experiment similar to Oyster's experiment. We have a wire and a battery eliminator. Let us connect the two terminals of the battery eliminator to the two ends of the wire. Let us place this compass needle near the wire. We will switch on the current. Notice what happens to the compass needle. What do you notice? The compass needle got deflected as soon as the current is switched on. The effect on the compass needle is same as though a magnet is brought near it. If we switch off the current, let's see what happens. The compass needle comes back to the initial north-south position. Let us try again and switch on the current. The deflection is there again. So what can we conclude from these observations? We may say that a current carrying wire behaves like a magnet or we can say electric current through a metallic wire produces a magnetic field. Let us now reverse the direction of current in the wire. And observe what happens to the compass needle. The direction in which the compass needle pointed also got reversed. So we have observed that the direction of magnetic field associated with an electric current depends on the direction of current.